to wrap up this message. These prophetic instructions came to me by revelation while I prepared this message. Listen to me. If you follow the order of Issachar, you will never be disadvantaged. Take it from me. You belong to an apostolic and a prophetic ministry. You see, the advantage of the apostolic and the prophetic is that it's able to bring perspective and meaning to the word of God. So the word of God does not just come to you just plainly and blindly without a point of application. By the agency of the spirit, you are able to walk with scripture and then bring a prophetic dimension to the speakings of God over your life. Pay attention. These four prophetic instructions are not just for me, but it's for the body of Christ. This is my contribution as revealed by God. These are the prophetic strategies for the times that we live in. This is true for our nation. This is true for businesses. This is true for individuals. And please, I want you to pay attention. I do not claim to know everything. We are all students, learning from God, learning from the fathers. But I can tell you there are things that we have been given as an election of grace. And in as much as we honor the body, we stand confident upon the office that he has given us. So some of the things you are hearing are not cunningly devised fables. No. Is someone ready? Four prophetic instructions for this tribe of Issachar to thrive, especially in the seasons that are unfolding. The first instruction is in James chapter 1 and verse 19. Let me tie it up quickly and then we'll pray. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. This is the first prophetic instruction. This came by the Spirit to me. For you, my dear people, and then by extension for the body of Christ. First instruction. Let every man, let how many men? Be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Believe me, men and women are going to lose their bishopric because of compromising on this instruction. There are many people who, if they do not manage themselves in business, in ministry, and so on and so forth, this is a time that requires high-level discernment. Be quick to hear, but be slow to speak, and be slow to anger. Because there are many things you will call God that is not God. And there are many things that you will call evil. And you will not know that it is light coming out of darkness. Listen very carefully. Instruction number one. Let every man be swift to hear. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. There are many good things God is doing in your life. That will stimulate anger in your life. You will need self-control to allow what is doing to come to fruition. Because at the end of it, you will find out that even your being thrown into the lion's den is for your exaltation. So you need a lot of self-control. This getting angry and boiling over nothing, many people will abort prophetic seasons because of the absence of self-control. There are many of us that need to trust God. Once you can just calm down, you will see the hand of God rearranging things. And then you will find out, like my precious people sang, that what the enemy meant, what was that thing you said again? What the enemy meant for evil. I think you should sing that, that part for me again. You take what the enemy meant for evil. Very powerful. And you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Sing it one more time. Very prophetic word. You will take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. But here's my question. Do you have the patience to allow God finish his work? Or are you angry that you want to interrupt God? God, you are too slow. Let me show you how it is to be fast. You hear that they are about to sack you and you say, God, they are about to sack me. And he says, stand still. Stand still with five children and 11 relatives 
God, you must be wicked. You are seated in heaven, dear streets of gold. And God said, alright, if you think I'm too slow, go ahead. And you go ahead and you find out it was a rumor. Your fear and anger now makes that rumor a self-fulfilling prophecy. They said we were looking for one person to drive. It was a rumor that it was you. But now that you have demo, you came by yourself as a sign that you are ready to leave the job. Hear me. Prophetic instruction number one. Dear Issachar generation. Be slow. Be quick to listen. Be slow to speak. There is something called due season. There are many of you, you preserve your honor by speaking only when necessary. Most of us, you have cheapened the value of your destiny. Your words no longer carry life and power because you have wasted it upon the ears of those who do not deserve to hear you speak. You must understand the value and the power of your words. Let your words carry power and weight that if your words actually come out they come out when needed are we together be quick to listen satan will try to challenge you provoke you to speak it takes a lot of self-control and discernment the bible says a word spoken in due season say due season prophetic instruction Number one, I repeat again, be quick to listen. Nigeria, Africa, body of Christ. This is a prophetic word for the Lord, from the Lord. James 1, 19 is my first prophetic word. Be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Let's finish it, verse 20. Why does the Bible say slow to wrath? He said, for the wrath of man walketh not the righteousness of God. When you allow uncontrolled anger to lead you, it will most likely lead you out of the will of God. Are we together now? Prophetic instruction number two. Is someone listening now? Obtain light through the ministry of the word. Obtain light through the ministry of the word. Obtain light from the ministry of the word. Refuse to walk in darkness. This is what God told me. Romans 15 and verse 4. Let's hurry up please. Romans 15 and verse 4. The Bible says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, they were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture might find hope. There is nothing happening to you now. There is nothing happening to us as a nation. There is nothing happening to your business that has not happened before. It was written so that we may find hope. Obtain light from scripture. This is the wrongest time to depend on emotions. The believer and the spiritual man is only spiritual to the degree to which you have submitted to the word of God as final authority in all matters, regardless your emotions. Are we together? Written a four time for our learning. Psalm 119 and verse 130. Psalm 119 still on prophetic instruction number two. 119, 130. The entrance of thy word, it says... Give that light. Say light. And the Bible says it gives understanding to the humble or the simple. It is dangerous to run your life and your family neglecting scripture. Light must come from scripture. More than newspaper, more than social media. This is a time in your life where you must respect the supremacy and the value of the word. The believer is not just one who is saved and has given his life to Christ, but one who has constrained his life to be governed by the word of God. Obtain light. Don't walk in darkness. Don't speak in ignorance. Make sure you have a biblical perspective to everything. And from that perspective, you act. Number three. The third instruction God gave me. Are we, are we receiving tonight? Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The third prophetic instruction. 
that I received from the Lord. Watch and pray. Matthew 26, 41, please. Give it to us. Matthew 26 and verse 41. Jesus was speaking to the disciples. He said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. It says, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. I'll not say so much here because I had a teaching on this very um, word watch and pray watch is a function of intelligence in other words do not throw your intelligence watch and pray you will need the faculty of your mind as well as the spiritual advantage to resist temptation in this time don't just pray blindly watch and pray watch means you will make use of your mind your mental development will add to your stability, your preservation, and your security. Then he says pray. He didn't say pray and watch. There is a role. Your mind must understand certain things, and then you can gain higher perspectives from the Spirit. For many people, we are praying and throwing away our minds. That's why even what we receive from the realm of the Spirit cannot be converted to a context that blesses us. Spirituality does not ignore the place of intelligence. Please hear me. I teach on over-dependence of the mind, not dependence of the mind. The mind is a useful tool as far as the manifestation of the life of God is concerned. Are we together now? In fact, the Bible says receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. Watch and pray. Ezekiel 22 and verse 30, a popular scripture here. I sought for a man. Watch and pray. Can I tell you sincerely? I know that we are going through a very difficult phase across the nations, particularly in Nigeria. We just finished our election. There's another set coming. Believers, we must pray. We must pray like never before the prayer ministry of prophetic intercession. We need intercession rising from the north, the south, east, and the west. Discussing issues have never really solved them. It may start the process, but there are things that we must settle from the realm of the spirit for anything that brings glory to God to be made manifest. We must pray. I sought for a man to stand in the gap. We must pray. Pray for the soul of our nation. Pray for the politicians. Pray for... I, I gave you a prophetic instruction here. I'm not going back there. I told you three uh, groups. Remember? Remember the prophetic word I gave you here? I said there are three groups we must pray for. And I'm still saying it again. One, INEC. Two, law enforcement agencies. But three and most important, the judicial, the judiciary especially the supreme court i will leave it there but you should know that i don't speak as a fool hallelujah when pray for these three entities with all your heart i repeat one INEC, two law enforcement agents that means uh, uh, police military dss three pray for our entire judiciary election tribunals but especially the Supreme Court. Are we together? Prophesy to someone, say, Watch and pray. Watch and pray. The person had the watch part, say, Pray. Pray. I believe in the ministry of prayer. Please do not downplay and ignore prayer. When I say prayer, I always like to qualify it prophetic intercession. There is a place where you pray for yourself, I have taught you. But right now, we need to move past the realm of self-centeredness. And for God's sake, make our spiritual contributions to pray for our lives, for our nation, for Africa, for businesses, for the program of God. Third prophetic instruction for the Isaka generation, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Number four. This one surprised me because you'll be surprised to know that this fourth one came very early this morning. Very, very early this morning. That's when this came. John chapter 3 and verse 31. 
the Lord spoke to me and said, tell my people to reject a victim mentality. I didn't understand what that meant. I mean, I'm looking for serious issues. What is victim mentality again? Listen carefully. Tell my people to reject a victim mentality. And this was the scripture he gave me. I woke up with this scripture. He that cometh from above is above all. All what? That's the question. All what? All what? When the Bible says all, anything lower than God is that all. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. Listen, there is a victim mentality that believers have. And the Lord used a figure in the Bible, and I had to study him. The man Daniel, one of the graces God is releasing upon the body of Christ, is the, that mantle that was upon Daniel. Daniel was a man who, from scripture, he reigned through the dispensation of four different kings, and nobody could push out his relevance. Listen carefully. Number one was Nebuchadnezzar. Number two was Belshazzar. Is that true? Number three was Darius. Number four was Cyrus. Four kings. And he reigned through the four dispensations and nobody could throw him out of relevance. Now, I'm not just speaking in terms of politics and all of that, but do you know there are many believers today who clamor and pray even as touching politics governor, house members, it is not because they really desire a glorious nation. It is because we have educated ourselves through a victim mentality that if I have my person or someone who can advocate my personal interest, I stand a chance to be happy, whether for the next four years or the next eight years. Let me tell you what the Bible says. It says, woe to him that puts his strength in a man. Daniel is that one man that came, even though a Jew, he came to Babylon. Daniel 1 and verse 8, one determination that Daniel made, that Daniel proposed in his heart, that he would not define himself with the portion of the king's meat. Because of that decision, I can begin to show you all the things that happened to Daniel. When you read chapter 5 and verse 10, when they were drinking with the vessels of, that they brought from the temple, the wife of King, Be I think that should be Belshazzar now, she began to make all kinds of noise and she called and said, there is trouble here. Oh. And verse 12, they brought Daniel and they said, there is a man who has an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding in interpreting of dreams and so on and so forth. Let's go down to verse 28. We'll read to 30 and stop at 30 for sake of time. He was interpreting the handwriting on the wall. Mene, mene. He says, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. 29. And commanded Belshazzar and they clawed Daniel. They clawed Daniel with a scarlet and all of those things happen. Look at what happened in verse 30. The Bible says that night was Belshazzar the king slain. 31, the last verse says, And Darius the Median took the kingdom. He prophesied, O oh, king, you have been weighed and you have been found wanting. The Bible says that night the king was slain. And when Darius came, if somebody prophesied and somebody died and you come, it will be stupid for you to throw that person away. Let me tell you the truth. Depending, I'm saying this responsibly, depending on any businessman, politician, uh, uh, what they call it, captain of industry, to magically change your life because of the sympathy and affiliation of bloodline and the rest, you are already practicing idolatry not knowing. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Believe me when I tell you this. God uses men. But please hear me believers and hear the word of the Lord. 
I am telling you, take away a victim mentality. You come from above. And whether you are in Russia, you are in America, you are in Nigeria, you are in the north, south, east and west. Provided you are in the will of God. The Bible says, thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph. Shout, I can never be a victim. Let the devil hear you, I can never be a victim. Carry that mentality. There is no business structure. There is no political party whatsoever. When you advocate righteousness, it's because of the purposes of God. Not fear that your interest would have been sabotaged. No. Because your economy is driven from heaven and by heaven. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? That is the reason why you find people having a lot of balloon success under a particular government or dispensation say they will reign and thrive and do well and then another government will come and you find out that they go down not daniel from chapter one chapter five chapter six daniel only kept going upward and forward and moving and excelling even in egypt Isaac sowed in that land and received that same year and hundredfold and all kinds of increases came to his life. Can I tell you, it is a mentality I have carried as a person, it is a mentality I have carried as a man of God, it is a mentality I have carried as a leader that I can never be disadvantaged. This is not some Pentecostal gibberish. I have indoctrinated myself to believe that one with Christ is not only a majority, is victory. Victory personified. I carry the spirit of the living God. I live by the word of God. I submit to the governing authority of the king. No. If you carry a victim mentality, people started carrying victim mentality more formally from after the pandemic. In fact, during the pandemic, there are businesses that had no business crashing, but because they carried a victim mentality. People keep endorsing failure and give all kinds of flimsy excuses. I'm, I'm an empathetic person. I'm not speaking irresponsibly. But let me tell you, you must, you must gird up your loins tonight and receive this prophetic word and say no excuses for failure again. I am not a victim. The Bible declares that he that cometh from above Many people right now in Nigeria, there are battles for or against different political parties, you know, from presidency down. And I can submit to you that there are people who are pursuing the cause of righteousness. They have the track record, they have the antecedents, and there are people that we, we love and honor. But there are people who are largely pursuing their interest. When you see people begin to clamor, it's because where they think money will pour from has now been closed. And they can't afford to have it closed that long. The Lord is my shepherd. The Bible did not say the Lord is shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. He may not be our shepherd. I don't know what you believe. But the Lord is my shepherd. Somebody say my shepherd. Thank God for the government. But I've said it. And you know that I, I love people. I love the body of Christ. I'm not a politician. But let me tell you. There is no government, I don't care what political party, that will magically solve the problem of any nation like that. The Bible says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The Lord steps before the leadership. Thank God for the prophetic words. We'll continue to do our due diligence in guiding God's people towards that which God says. But let me submit to you. Putting your strength in men. God uses men. But all blessings come from God through man to man. Some of you now, maybe your uncles lost election. Some of you right now, maybe your, your loved ones, maybe your brothers, maybe, and you are now wondering, where will my house rent come from? He would have allowed me to finish. Now my building is at Lintel level. Will I leave it for eight years? No. Don't think like that. Fought prophetic instruction. I am not a victim. I come from above. I obtained the mantle that was upon Daniel that made Nebuchadnezzar to recognize and honor him. The mantle that was upon him. Are we together? That made 
um, King Belshazzar, Darius, and Cyrus, all of them, in fact, when you read modern history, it says he reigned more than just those four kings. He reigned in total of about eight kings. It's just that we have four recorded according to the account of Daniel. I cannot be a victim. No. I refuse, I reject, I cannot be a victim. Not in any nation. I don't need to know the president of a nation to thrive. It is an advantage if I get to know him. But if I enter that nation, he said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Comes by that office. This is the mentality that I carry. Thank God for the advantage of relationships to businessmen, politicians, captains of industry, etc., etc. But I submit to you by the authority of God's kingdom. The basis for my confidence is never any connection to men and systems. It is that the God of heaven who rules above all, he is still alive. Reject a victim mentality. Stop asking questions. Now my uncle lost the election. Now this one happened. Now I did not do this. Is this how my life... Don't speak like that. He that cometh from above is above all. And since I come from above, I declare, let the devil, let the cosmos know that I am from above. Defended by the jealousy of Elohim. Are we together? This is how much he loves me. You must have that mindset. I don't know about you, but I, I have been indoctrinated by the love of Jesus towards me. It's as if I'm the only one he loves on earth. And don't you think this is a preacher's sermon? I took time to get the revelation of the love of Jesus to sink into my spirit. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming out to me. No shadow you will light up, no shadow you will light up. the sons of Issachar, men who had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do. There were 200 of them and the Bible says that their brethren were at their command. So when men say there is a casting down, they find out that your mentality and your conversation is different. There are people already now saying, ah, which government will come into power now? Is it this? Is it that? We are in trouble. Why will you call yourself grasshoppers when he did not call you a grasshopper? No. Caleb said, let us go up as once. We are well able. We are well able. As far as the purposes of God is concerned, my precious people sang it for you, that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper. Do you not believe that? Make reference to my teaching, exceeding great and precious promises. The Bible says that by them we might be the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss. I am a victor, never a victim. In the name of Jesus, Koinonia is victorious. Even in the midst of the flood, we are taken by the Spirit and kept upon Mount Ararat way far beyond any limitation that no enchantment and no divination against you will try do you believe that carry that mentality take away fear from your life oh I didn't get visa to go to to, to relocate to Canada or to relocate to America or to relocate to UK in this Nigeria again I'm finished don't say such things you are finished means what Jesus already said it for you so you don't say it again <laughs> finished no do you believe what I taught you tonight